あれか Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Zenmox channel. Before we start the video, make sure to click, click the little bell next to the subscribe button so you can get notified whenever I post a video. So today we'll be unboxing slash reviewing the Blitz Gundam, which is a robot damage. And um, it is a premium Bandai, and I probably got this like a, probably nearly um, six months ago. It was in a, it was like a, <clears throat> like a bundle sale, and then I got it for very cheap. So, you know, we're gonna take a look. So, it is a action of the Blitz, and then we turn it to the back, and then we can see the weapon, and then, you know, the the pose and prop, uh, propulsion, and then, you know, we have the Japanese text here is... I can't read it. Uh, the only thing I can read is this thing. Aslan is the pilot of the Aegis Gundam, like the name of the pilot. The only thing that I can read is here. But anyway, that's not fun. So, we're just gonna quickly take things out so you can see that one instruction menu uh not really instruction menu it just tell you how you how can you mess around with the things so we have four type of hands and um we have lining we have two type of different things okay this is literally if you've been watching my robo damage video every time i would say that this is literally the most useless action base i've ever seen in my life so don't use it <laughs> Okay, now this is this is the jackpot, baby. This is the jackpot. You can see that. So we're just gonna open it up so you can be look at it easier. So, um, so we got backpack, we got the main body, and then we got the uh, weapon system here. So you know we're just gonna take it out and you know take a take a brief look about it. So um, it's fixed. I don't really know that. Um, well. The color on it certainly looks very good and it got some screws in it so it adds the stability as well and then now we pick up the Vagampa and then we can take a look at it uh it's way better than the xg well, holy crap this is like way better than the xg this is like my dreams so the painting absolutely amazing i don't see any flaws at the moment so we'll get into the details later so we will just take a quick look of it and there's an extra color separation and the face looks a little bit better um than the xg one actually hmm okay we will just put it back uh, into the box at the moment and then we'll take a look at it later so we do have two type of claws we have the closed one oh with the closed one so put it back and then we have the open one and the open one oh it's movable man but this pretty soft hmm, let's just hope let's just hope i won't let's just hope i won't break it let's just hope that so we're gonna take out the backpack and take a look at it backpack oh the wings can move that's great we can see some color separation hmm, doing a very good job i'm pretty happy so far and then the hands we'll just skip the hands we'll look at the hands later and then we have of course the jackpot of the night i mean the jackpot of the ms if i can take it out so it's this lining here you can bend and then you can adjust the angle wow that just amazing <laughs> dude that's just amazing this is the line when it shoots out and then okay so let's just put it back and then we have one beam saber part which is not really mentionable at all and then we have some hands option down here as well so um anyways let how about um i skip the talking and then uh let me let me do a little like a very quick exam uh assemble process and then we'll start the review All right, now let's take a little look of the um, when I you know assemble all the parts together. So I kind of say that overall these this uh, robot damage is doing a very good job, and I absolutely love it. But it's just uh, I do found one flaw. It's not that important though, but I do found that there there is a lot of gaps, uh, the assemble gaps in the actual product, and then you can see it's pretty clear under the colors, and you can see it's pretty clear. Um, you know, you can see those gaps. Uh, well, it's just a very little thing. It's not really that matter, but um, it's just that's just one small flaw that I found. Overall, though, uh, I would really love to play with this. Gamma is absolutely amazing, and you know, compared to the very old version, uh, probably like the XG one. Um, compared to that, it was like night and day. This is like the, this is like, this is like a, this is like a 
perfection version of it. Well, I mean, there if you if you're seeking for perfect, there there is MG version, but we are looking at uh, at a very small scale right here. But as a very small scale, this robot arm is absolutely amazing. So starting with the head, we can see that the head is completely new, and it's there's a very different part than the HG is first. The antenna is sharper too. They have a specific gray parts at the side of the antennas. The color separation right there, absolutely beautiful. It had a little bit of detail. Uh, the face, it looks pretty fine and it looks, you know, the face scale looks great. Uh, it's just one thing that I don't really like is you, you can barely see the eyes and I kind of don't like that. But really though, the head is pretty fine. They even give you this little red piece of detail on the head for you. And I, I do think that is absolutely amazing. Looking at the torso though, uh, the torso do have a little weird because you know, the torso is so skinny and then you know, having a little gap to the side skirt right here and it looks a little bit like off scale, but the but doesn't really matter uh, because Robo Damage is for display purposes. So, you know, you're not going to turn around too much. Um, so <clears throat> the red part here is absolutely amazing. I don't see flaws here. The red part is spraying pretty well. And, you know, and the chest is like, it's like there's a there's a joint here for you to move all around the moving the moving the move the articulation between the waist and the torso is absolutely amazing. It just allows you to do more actions with it. Going on to the arms though, uh, so the shoulders as you can see it is pretty beautifully colored. They even give you this little black detail inside the shoulders. Can you see it right here? And you know, a turn around, there's not really much to say. It is the shoulders just equipped it like the normal ROG do. It's just, there's a little clip you clip it on. Uh, you can bend up the ang bend up the arms pretty well. Uh, the arms is able to rotate as well. Oops, I absolutely popped the shoulders. So the shoulders you can lift up as well. And also, as always, as always, there's always an extended joint for you to move to the front. And as you can see right now, the shoulders just fall off. So I just have to kind of, you know, quickly put it back. Uh, looking on the waist here, the waist doing a pretty fine color separation as well. Individual piece for the uh, waist armor. Turning to the back though, we can see some extra details here. Not really a color separation at the back skirt, but we can see some clear details right here. The details are amazing though, actually. The side skirt can move as well during, you know, the the torso is a little skinny, so you can move around. So the legs can kick to the side, can kick to the front, kick to the back, not really. Uh, you can bend on a certain angle and they got an RG-ish design where the uh, kneecap armor is uh, separate. Uh, with the, the feet down here is a, it's a double joint, so you can move the tip of the feet. The feet you can move front and back, slightly side to side. And then, you know, the little piece down here at the bottom, you can move it as well. Uh, but not really much a not a, saying it's a very surprising angle but it's just giving you a little bit of extra articulation to, for you to move around i turn around and look at the backpack the backpack is this like the different thing about the xg is the backpack gives you a uh, a lot of move uh, like the extra movement on the wings here it's a ball joint it's very easy to pop out by the way so do not bend it to too much you it will pop out it's very easy to pop out it is a ball joint so you can move to adjust the angle and you know there's a red this is like a red detail inside the thrusters absolutely beautiful there's no flaws i can as as far as i saw there's no flaws in the thrusters but you know appreciate that every bit of every bit of joints here is actually painted by silver so you can add some kind of mechanical feeling uh and i absolutely love the uh, love the paintings right now let's move on to the accessories so the first type of hands as usual we have a lot of hands so first type of hands is this kind of fist hand and then another type of hand is kind kind of this like a weapon holding hand. So you can choose a lot of hands. Well, and then we have the third option, which is a open hand, which you always see in the Gamla model or Robodamashi. So, you know, not really what well, not really much to talk about because it's a very standard, you know, uh swapping hands. And then we have another one right here. Is it the beam saber that you can go along with these with this uh, large weapon on the right hand? Uh, you just simply insert it on the tip of the gamba and that's basically done and then you know we're gonna look at the main weapon here because this is like a signature weapon for the blitz so as you can see it's beautifully painted there's no there's no flaws actually and i'm very glad and i'm very glad there's no flaws about it um it's really good so we can see that so at the tip here at the tip of the weapon we can see there is a you know kind of purple purple paint here that is a actually the beam rival we have three 
we have three type of this kind of spear weapon you can so you can actually unplug this little so about the shield the interesting fact about the shield is it can turn around so you can extend the shield or you can close the shield back into the gunpla it's actually pretty it's actually pretty good we can see that the scope is painted to be red and the spear is absolutely beautiful they, they do a color separation the back is the gray and then the front is the white part uh, absolutely doing a beautiful job on the color separation each at the, the bottom spear can be pulled out and by the way the spear uh, is a little bit of disappointment unfortunately the uh, the spear at the bottom is not really stable so it will have some kind of popping out problem but you know not really not really saying it's a very serious problem because it's not really influencing anything and then the last thing we got is another signature weapon of the blitz so this is like a this is like a very popular weapon if most of you watch the c series we can always see the blitz is shooting out this type of this type of weapon out so you know there's two there's two situations there's the open one and then there's the closed one this is the open one the open one though i have something to talk about the claws the claws on it is very sloppy and it's not is is unfortunately not stable at all and i have serious concern about can it actually hold can can like can the gunpla actually hold it this is my serious concern and we have this kind of lining here that you can that you can that you can use and frankly though is it's pretty it's pretty hard to tell well actually this is there's a joint here you can put it on the forehead uh forearm and this doing the same thing like the original blitz uh, it's pretty good and i gotta say though so this is the lining right here so we're gonna we're gonna do a quick test here let's see can the blitz hold this weapon up uh, by itself and we'll see it now Bruh. as you can see right here um the gun part doesn't the robo damage sheet doesn't contain a um you know a holding base for the for the claws to stand on it so it will have like a very common problem like most of the gunplayers that with this kind of weapons it will constantly dropping down because the line is not strong enough to hold the head and the head with the and the head of the weapon will constantly dropping down and not much to say though the claws already you know broke broken down a little bit because as i as i told you before the claws are very sloppy and this is like a kind of like a sad thing uh it's kind of sad actually because this is like one of the very signature weapon for the blitz and one it can't hold up and two the claws are very sloppy so overall this is like a this is like a major disappointment for myself guys you really think i will close off the video without a comparison then you pretty much didn't watch my videos so now we're gonna do a comparison to, between the xg version and the robo damage version on the right hand side we have the robo damage version on the left hand side we have this dusty xg that i built like what uh a lot a, a long 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 time ago uh i will not i will try not to move the xg one because uh if you guys build in gunplus before you know how fragile the plastic is once you store it a long enough time and the because the XG Blitz is actually basically made of like a lot of a lot of parts is basically stickers, so I'm afraid if I try to move it, if I scratch it, it will fall off. So we we're gonna do a comparison. So first you can see the head, there's a clear comparison. So this is um the Robo Damage version is more leaning on the you know darker purple color. Uh, like a very it's it's like it's almost very similar to a gray color and then on the on the xg side we can see it is a clear purple color that you can identify of it and then we can see the joints here we can see the joint of these two gunplus when you look at the arms so this one is just, so the xg one is just a straight out old joint that uh doesn't really show you the detail and meanwhile we have when we look at the robo damage version we can clearly see the joints and then now the head is a little it's extremely different so the hg version you can clearly see the eyes but the scale on the head is a little bit weird and frankly uh the side of the head um actually covers up the the chin of the gunplay and then we can see right here the the newer head which is the robot damage she had we can see there's a color separation um uh, like nicely done and that the scale is absolutely correct we can see extra detail on the antenna as i mentioned and we can see this red 
red part of detail on the top of the head as well. Uh, so it's just a night and day comparison. The only difference between two of this is actually the XG version got a couple stickers and the Rubble Diamond one just don't have anything. Other than that, uh, we'll, I, I want to discuss about the black color. So as you can see on this Robo Diamond machine, the black color is very easy to, to see it and then you can actually see it and then meanwhile the xg version is slightly towards the gray version um the red color though uh, one of them is lighter one of them is darker so i don't think, really think there's a you know a very big difference uh the majority of difference between the uh waist is actually uh for one uh robo is also of course spray painted and two xg versions have a little triangle at this at the at the cockpit and while the robo don't don't have anything so now we're gonna look it down to the waist and right here. You can clearly see it. The waist is pretty much the same, except uh, if we take a closer look on the robot diamond machine, you can see there's a little red painting uh, inside the waist. And if we turn around to look at the XG version, that's absolutely not. That's actually nothing. And then we take a look at the side skirt right here. The side skirt is pretty small, and of course it's, it's color separation. Did. And then on the XG side, you can clearly see this is a sticker. So, you know, this is basically the XG and the Robo Damashi difference. And then now we're looking on the legs. So if we look at the legs closely, we can see that there's not really much that detail and actually missing. And actually the scale is looking different as well. The legs, uh, the legs is uh, bulkier and then the feet, it looks way bigger. We turn around and look at the Robo Damashi, we can clearly see that uh, there's feet, the feet have color separation. And also we can see that the, ar the, the, the little armor down uh, above the feet is actually looking uh, a little bit better and then we can look at look at all its overall separation is doing a very good job meanwhile we look at the side we don't really have see anything for the shoulders we can clearly see there's a kind of separation and then when we talk, take a look on the hg one it's just stickers yes and then you know we're gonna turn around we're gonna turn around both of the contenders now and then look at the side of the weapon so we're gonna look at the weapon so we can see that the hg one is missing the white uh, little little line on the shield and then the robot that she got it and then we look at the spears the spear the spears of the weapon one of them got colored and one of them uh, is plain white but if you talk about the stability I would choose XG the XG spears is way more stable than the robot that machine we look at we're looking at the tip of the shield we can see that the scale is different uh, this one is stickers of course but it's not really that sharp and not really that long uh, meanwhile the robot that machine one the size is absolutely good and the paintings is absolutely amazing as well we're gonna now flip around and then you know look at the back the backpack so we're gonna, just gonna turn around quickly so as you can see right here the backpack we don't really see there's a red color separation piece here all we can see is just plain back black uh we look at the robo damage version as i mentioned before there's a ball joint that you can move and there's color separation in the thrusters so the difference between two is actually just a little bit of movements now we're gonna look at the other weapon on the other hand so we're just gonna turn both containers around so as you can see here the xg one um i will give the tip of the weapon uh to xg because it look way sharper and way larger and it's actually look more powerful this one is a look look a little bit small and you know doesn't really see that good and while both of them do have a color separation on the back of the weapons uh which is the thruster both of them got color purple and then the difference is the xg doesn't have a red piece here and then but the robot damage gives you the red piece here and overall if you compare the weapon size though the xg one is bigger and the robot damage is kind of smaller so you know if if personally i prefer the xg one on the weapon for the for this specific weapon i prefer the xg one the xg one looks a looks a bit bigger and is actually look quite powerful as well but if you look at no, but if you compare two of them, actually, they were surprisingly, surprisingly, there's not really much a height difference like the other seat series when I reviewed them in Robo Damashi. There's not really much on the height difference, it's just a very small one. But if you look at it, uh, the back, the thrusters actually got some difference right here. If you take a closer look to it, you can see. The thrusters, uh, Robo Damashi is a little bit taller and longer. The XG one uh, looks shorter and not as powerful. 
Uh, we can see the side of the legs is basically different. One of them is very round and one of them is very sharp and outstanding. So this is just a, you know, a little comparison between two of them. So guys, this is basically a yellow review. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I actually, it was my mistake. I do make it, I do make some mistakes. The shoulders is extremely easy to pop out and it's actually pretty annoying. <laughs> This is the only part that I have to complain. And after overall, the finishing is pretty, it's pretty good, and I absolutely love it. Um, <clears throat> if you can get your hands on it, uh, then get one. So if you like, basically, for my opinion, I actually love the Blitz Gundam more than any other Gundams in the Sis, uh, the Seat series because I really think the design is very cool. It can invisible, like it can do stealth attacks. It has you know, very special, very unique weapons. And I just absolutely love this design. And for me, I'm a really huge fan of the Blitz. So if I have to start, if, if I have to pick an MG to buy in the Seed series, I will probably buy Blitz first because Blitz is basically my favorite out of uh, like the original five. Well, but anyways, this is the end of the review. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel for more content. Make sure to hit the little bell so you can get notified whenever I, am, I upload a video. Well, guys, we'll see you guys in another Gunplay review. Goodbye.